Hello everybody, Jim Malone here from Dallas Trading Floor. Well, with the rising interest rates and the fear of recession, it appears that gold, in, in particular gold miners, are doing very, very well. And uh, I want to show you a stock that I just bought today called Goldfields. Now this is a stock that uh, is trades in New York on the uh, American Depository Receipt, an ADR. It's actually a South African company and one of the largest gold miners in the world. If we look at a chart of gold fields, you'll notice that uh, it has been it's starting to it's starting to move upwards with a cup formation here. I bought it today at uh, uh, 1665, and uh, it does appear like it's moving higher uh, today. If we compare gold fields, uh, which is GFI on this chart, with the overall market as represented by the spider, this is the S&P 500 ETF, you'll notice that since the first of the year, GFI has increased almost over a little bit over 40 percent, and this is just in one quarter, whereas the spider only about three percent. It does appear that we are seeing a movement of funds from some of the financial sector stocks which are under pressure into some of these gold mining stocks. This stock is based in South Africa so the uh, it actually trades in New York as a, an American depository receipt. This is of course just for demonstration purposes only not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. Mark McIverney, uh, a trader that I follow very closely and was a uh, three-time uh, investing champion said that basically he hasn't seen anything like this since about 1993 uh, when he basically indicated that uh, you know the market was going down it was not a good situation but he moved in some of the gold stocks and they doubled so this is uh, again not a recommendation to buy or sell anything but it does appear that there is a flight to some of these gold mining stocks. I'll be talking about this on the show today. I have a show every day at 5 o'clock on YouTube at youtube.com slash Dallas Trading Floor. Hope to see you then.